there's a new way to create notation on SoundSlice for tablet and touch devices. Now, when you open a slice in edit mode while using a tablet, you'll see a new keyboard panel on the bottom of the page. You can use this keyboard to enter in pitches, and there are some nearby buttons to speed up your note entry workflow. Let's go through the controls quickly. To enter a note, simply tap a key on the keyboard. You can swipe through the keyboard to access different octaves across the 88 key layout. You can move to other beats with the left and the right arrows, and using the up or down arrows will let you jump between different staves. Of course, you can select existing beats just by tapping on them too. To make a beat's rhythmic duration bigger, like going from a quarter note to a half note, tap the button on the farthest left. The button next to it will make your beat smaller. To enter chords, tap the chord mode button on the right side. That's the one that looks like a group of stacked notes. Now, when you enter pitches, they will stack on your selected beat. You'll notice that the keyboard will light up all of the notes within that beat. You can tap chord mode again to return to single note mode, or you can simply tap on any note and you'll be brought back to single note entry. To change a pitch's enharmonic spelling, simply tap the icon with the flat and the sharp symbols. You can then toggle through all spelling options. You can enter rests or beat augmentation dots by clicking the icons to the left of the enharmonic button. And lastly, you can easily undo, redo, or delete any notation with the buttons on the far right side. You can use all of the notation commands in the left sidebar just like normal while you're using this new touch keyboard entry. We hope this makes it easier for you to enter your notation using touch devices, and be sure to stay tuned for more updates like this in the future.